it's a good morning, August the 28th, 2014. This is CISG 113, Section 1, Information Security and Privacy. Here we get started with the second lessons in the first week of this semester, 2014, the first semester. Good morning. Well, allow me to say that I'm on time today, not five minutes earlier. So, uh, welcome back to this class. So, great to meet you again. So many faces. When you look at the screen here, it represents the video of last lecture. Um, of course, not all the three. These include the video of three classes. So, if you look at the video, it, it sounds something like this. Semester with something different 
or better say, it enhanced the portions over the previous semester. So, before I continue, I would like to hold you responsible for two minutes of reflection on what we studied this past Monday. Now, I understand that maybe some of you were not here on Monday. Maybe it's your first time in this class. It's okay. If you, it happens to be your first time in this class, you can just relax for two minutes. But those of you who were here on Monday, please pay some reflective thinking to what we did on Monday. This is the companion website, okay? This is the login page, and here you need to type in your login ID. That is whatever before your at sign of your email address. Okay, at the University of Macau, definitely student number. So after you type in this, you will be brought to this page called My Courses. And one of these course will be your CISG 1.3, Section 1, okay? This website will be activated, okay, next Monday. And then I'm going to bring you to a similar website of last semester. Here we go. Wow. With the change of battery, this is completely different. So, could you share with me a little bit of what you pick up as of Monday? Some of you could help, right? So, I remember last time I got this helper. So, and I also get this helper too. So, the two of you are excellent helper. So, can any one of you uh, help us to understand, to remember what we talk about as of Monday. But we're going to spend two minutes time sampling on your feedback. Can you help passing the microphone to on the other side? Or you can ask him. Yeah. yeah just go around. Do you remember? What did you remember? Thank you very much. Excellent information. Do you remember? Something. Not yet? Okay. Do you remember something? Introduce myself. Very good. You're going to introduce yourself today. Okay. Thank you very much. You did a great help. 
Do you remember how much time you're going to introduce yourself? Three hours, but not for one person, right? So, yes, do you remember how much, thank you very much, do you remember how much time you're supposed to use to introduce yourself? Uh, one minute. One minute, okay, very good. And actually between one and two, right? So, are you ready? Thank you very much. Do you remember what I'm supposed to invite you to introduce yourself about? What are you supposed to say something about yourself? Okay. Do you remember? Tell the classmate about your name, your major, and, and where you live. Thank you. Very good. Your name, your major, where you live, and then anything more? Okay, it's all right. Do you remember something? And your faculty, thank you. So, uh, why do we need to introduce ourselves? Do you remember? Do you remember why do you need to introduce yourself? No. Okay. Listen. Do you remember? No. Why do we need to introduce ourselves? Uh, get to know each other. Okay. Get to know each other for what reason? No reason. Okay. Um, do you remember what reasons? No. no. Okay. Do you remember? Uh, get, a lot of friends. get a lot of friends. Okay. Very good. Do you remember why do we need get a lot of friends? Because we are in the same class. Okay. Because we're in the same boat. All right. So do you remember much more concretely what we are going to do in this class? Oh, let me ask you this question. How many assignments do we need to complete in this semester? Do you remember? How many? How many assignments? How many? Well, you're not going to lose your point. One, two, three, four, five. Pick one. How many? Do you remember? You just raise your hand. I need your participation. Do you know? Remember? Okay. So, good. Now, let me bring you back to where we were as of last time. Here we are. Remember, whenever you have anything up to this point of this week, whenever you have anything you are unclear with this class, come back to this website CISG113 FALL4 2014.bbworks.com And then you will be brought to this basic information. You can read this. We're going to read this today. And then down here, you're going to have a calendar, right? And then two. Lines below, you have submissions. Submissions means assignments you need to submit, right? So when you go to submissions, you will be brought to this page, okay? And now tell me, what do you get from this page? Immediately from this table, to help answer the questions. What do you get? Call submission. If you look at week number two, don't, don't worry much about this day, okay? I'm going to update this. This is brought forward from last semester. So don't worry much about this day, but look at the week number. So in week number two, that means next week, right? You're going to do pair partner information. So you're going to submit one piece of information for my reference, and that is who is going to be your pair partner, right? Why do you need to submit this information? Because you need a pair partner to help finish the assignment, okay? Do you got it? 
Now, because you need a pair of hackler to help finish the assignment, so you need to find someone in this class who has to do a similar assignment as yours, okay, to be your pair partner. And because you need to find that person who's going to be your pair partner, I need to give you time to know each other in this class. And that is the reasons why you have one minute introductions today. Do you understand? Do you remember? Okay? Do you get it right here? All right, good. So, since you need to submit this, and I'm sorry, there's no point at, 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 at sign for this, but you need to do that, all right? And then in week number four, team informations. Now, once you got your learning partner, the two of you becomes a pair. All right? And in this class, I, I have not count the exact number yet, but we are supposed to have a number of pairs of students, right? And then by the end of week number four, I expect that each pair of the two of you in one pair, okay, is going to look for a team pair. So the two pairs will be joined together to form a team, okay? So when you look at this table, by the end of week number four, don't worry much about the day, I'm going to update this. Each pair, the two of you, need to submit another piece of information, that is the information of another pair of two students. Now definitely, when you have a pair with you, I will give your pair a name, okay? And so that with your name, or for your pair, you can use your team, team pair's name as the basis for you to submit the information. Okay? Well, definitely you also need to list the names of the two students there. So that is the second important submission. Now, how do you submit it? Now, each one of you need to do it, even though you are doing it on behalf of your pair. Each one of you need to do it. Okay, don't say that my care partner is going to do it for me. No, you have to do it, okay? And then you have to do it while you are model email or the message system, whatever it is. I'm going to make it the easiest one for you, okay? And then when you look at week number four, now that it's something you need to pay attention to because as I mentioned on Monday, those artifact stuff, are the major things you need to submit for your three assignments in this semester. So you have three major assignments in this semester. Three, three, three. Do you remember? Okay, so the three major assignments are respectively called learning contract number one, learning contract number two, and learning contract number three. Now, why is it called learning contract? Because I consider all of you as adults. Adult means you're no longer a primary student, not even a secondary student as young adult, but you're an adult now. Most of you are above 18 years old, when adult is involved in college education, you are not waiting for the professors or instructor to tell you what to do. Learning contract represents an agreement between you and me and between you and your learning partner and between you and your teammates that you are going to do what is required of you to learn what is expected. Okay? Responsibility is the bottom line. You must be responsible for that. Let me give you an example. Now, we are all born of, from our parents, okay? We all have parents, and somehow we do have all the perfect family. Some of the family have single parent, or some of the family have the parents killed, okay? But we all are born from our parents. 
And we know that whenever I'm hungry after school, when I go home, definitely there's something for me to eat because my dad or my mom has already prepared something that I could easily feed myself. The example of this, before I come to school this morning, I need to go down to buy some bread for my kids to make sure that they have something to eat. Okay? So during lunch time, I have to make sure they have enough resources to cook their lunch, or I have to go to have lunch with them in, in the evening and to make sure I clean it for them. Now, that is a responsibility of a parent. Now, what if parents do not fulfill their responsibility? The kids suffer. Okay, the unfortunate thing that happened just two days ago in Hong Kong in that single flat in Wontong. A fire broke out in the midnight at 3 a.m. in the morning. And it happens that they have a chance to escape the apartment. But the father said, oh, you stay in the room. I'm going to distinguish the fire. And he failed. He failed to distinguish the fire. And he left the apartment with one wife and three kids there. And they were locked in the room, trusting that father is going to take good care of the apartment. The fire is gone out of control. What happened? A 33 years old wife with a two years old boy and a five years old boy were killed. And the last one, eight month old baby, suffocated, rescued by the fireman, but still in the very critical conditions now. What does it mean? I do not mean they are not responsible. The father is very responsible, but he made a wrong decision. And the wife followed an inappropriate decisions. And I tell you what, this guy is going to be regretful for the rest of his life. Okay? Responsibility sometimes leads to a lot of consequences. We need to learn how to be responsible. That's why in college education, you are now having a chance to get educated. The first thing you need to know is, I must be a responsible person. Now how can I be responsible the right way? Okay? So you need to learn that through understanding the meaning of a learning contract. It's an agreement between you and your partners. It's an agreement between you and me. Okay? So it's very interesting. So you have three sets of artifacts. The first set is to be submitted on week number four, second set, week number seven, the last set, week number ten. And in week number seven, since I said you will have a chance to do things across the team, once you have your teams worked out, and then I'm going to bring two teams together, and you have to decide who is your partner team. When the two teams are brought together, you become a task force. So, look at the schedule. And at the end, from week number 11 to week number 14, you have four weeks time, but definitely you need to finish it by week number 14, is the last important project of the semester. We do not have any final exam. And then we're going to ask you, go back, go back to look at this, you have produced. Go back to look at this, you have produced. And look at that, you have produced. And extract from what you have done in your peer work, in your teamwork, and in your task force work, your contributions, your learning acquired, and put them into your individual student portfolio. So you start off with peer work, you follow up the peer work with teamwork, you follow up the teamwork with task force work, with many, many more manpower, and at the end of that, you extract your personal contributions, your learning form, the three important assignments, we call this the milestones of the learning, and you create your personal portfolio of learning in this semester. And you tell me, and you can also present it to the whole class, this is what I learned, what I achieved in this semester, 
in this course called Information Security and Privacy after I have done a number of learning activities. Okay, so how many assignments are you going to complete in this semester? Three. But you have one more thing to do, that is to put them all together in your learning portfolio. This is equivalent to the final exam. Okay? Okay? All right. So, very good. You remember that. Now, consider this. LC01 means learning contract 1. LC02 means learning contract 2. LC03 means learning contract number 3. LP means learning portfolio. All right? So, it's very clean and clear. All right? So, you remember what we need to do. That's the reasons why I start off by asking you. Do you remember what we said? Now, another thing I would like to remind you. We start at 10. We are going to end at what time? 11.15. Leaving you 15 minutes time to walk to the next class. Okay? So now I have used up my first half an hour, which is divided into two 15 minutes now. But today, I'm slightly past it by two minutes, just to help you remember what we said. It's okay. So make the best use of time. So after submissions, allow me to go back to calendar, okay? In the calendar, you can see, at a glance, the topic distributions of each week for the topics we are supposed to help you understand. I do not want to use the word cover. Help you understand means I will help you to develop in yourself the ability to think about, to inquire about the topic. So, we're still in week number one, we do doing introductions, and then starting next week, we're going to common module one. Now, before I go to the other topics, let me move directly to what is included in common module one. If you look at the topic down here, which is following this table, you can see that common module one, it's introduction to IT, and knowledge society. Now may I ask you this question, what is meant by IT? Based on your understanding. IT. Right. Any other interpretations with a little bit more details? Right, it's information technology. Do you have any idea? Can you give an example? It's this information technology. Do you have any objections? What is meant by information technology? Now I'm moving the questions a little bit deeper. Okay? IT means information technology. Yeah, and then I ask the question, is this information technology? It's this information technology. It's this information technology. What is meant by information technology? Is it water dripping? Oh, yes. Well, as a teacher, when I talk about IT, I say I means I and T means teach. So the ideas of IT is I teach you something. No. <laughs> Well, let's talk about technology. What is meant by technology first? Have you ever experienced technology in your life? Yes. Can you give an example? Intellect. Okay. So, can you touch intellect? Just like when I touch this thing, can you hold intellect in your hand? Okay, but what is meant by technology? You give an example, internet, thank you. Do you have any idea? 
Have you ever used any technology in your life? Yes. Phones. TV. Very good example. Now, let's think a little bit further. What is meant by a technology? What is meant by technology? I think you've gone through high school, right? Yes. Well, let me see if I can answer these questions. Um, in high school, somehow, you have learned something in the area of science, right? Science. Oh, maybe you are not from a high school which gives you a lot of science, but you heard the term science, right? Is science important in our life? Okay, in which way? Can you give an example why science is important in our life? Is science very relevant in our daily living? Without science, can we enjoy what we are enjoying today? If so, can you give an example? Think. Think. Go back to your house. Look around. Visualize. Where in my house can I find some examples of science that I'm going to use it every day? And without that, oh boy, I'm not going to say anything. can answer the questions and I use it minutes before I came into this room. Okay. We all have hairs, right? Yeah. 